Hello, boys and girls. My name is Grandma Gamer 18, and welcome to part four of the Tales of Quiver Dick. Last time we killed a disabled ninja. We killed the Cockness monster. We killed some random thugs, and we found a dead homeless man named Homeless Man 666. The poor bastard is just left under in the shade, but at least he's in the shade. I mean, you know what I'm cooking in the sun, right? So anyway, we uh, we cut this log down, and now we're gonna go through again because this is the second log we've cut. Thank you guys for all the support so far with this game. It has been an honor to get to play another indie game. Um, uh, and I think it's getting really close to the end. I think, but I I have no idea. It could be at the start still. That's creepy. Let's see what this dog is doing. Hey there, puppy! Dog looks at you and tilts his head to the side as if it's confused at what it's looking at. You notice that the dog's movements don't seem natural. Something is definitely off here. Are you okay, puppy? Um. Bark, bark? Did you just say bark, bark? Uh, no? Okay, what's going on here? <clears throat> Pet me. What? Pet me. Why? Because it feels good? I'd rather not pet strange talking dogs I've met in the forest while where a lich witch lives. Just pet the dog, Richard. No, that, that's okay. I think I'll pass. Pet. The. Dog. Yeah, pet the dog, Richard. No, really, I'm, I'm alright. Thanks anyways. Pat the fucking dog! But why? Because it feels good. We've been over this, Richard. I promise if you pet the dog, nothing bad will happen. I swear to the gods, if I pet this dog and I experience some sort of horrible disfigurement, or I grow ill with an incurable disease, or I get dropped into the ocean of semen and have to swim my way out, that's like wishful thinking. I mean, bark, bark! Please just pet the dog. Fine. Reach your hand out and pet the dog. Okay. Okay. So what was the point of that? It feels really good! What the fuck just happened? Let's take a look inside this thing. Gold. A potion. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. Not as bad. What the hell was the whole talking dog shit? Let's see what's hidden in here. 50 gold. Magic water. What if they make these in different flavors? We're gonna find like a grape flavored one, I, I almost guarantee it. And then we're gonna be like, whoa, I don't like grape. Center, but it was locked up tight. I need to find something to break in with. Let's go. Who are you? What the hell are you? A little blue one eyed creature rushes from the bush and bites you in the knee before rushing back into the woods through a hidden path. Ow, what the fuck was that? Are you gonna let him get away with that? Yep. <laughs> Let's take a peek inside. Mr. Magic Water. God, I found this. I was getting thirsty. 25 experience points. Okay, let's let's go find this little shit. What's wrong with you? Friends are hungry. You're gonna pay for that, Blob. Friends are eat your dick. What? What? That is disgustingly terrifying. I haven't seen this creature in some time. Wow, he isn't. He likes him in and around his mouth. That's weird. That's weird. Oh, son of a bitch. Don't do it again. Oh, no. Not wasting any magic. 
magic on this guy until I get to 80. Even my sword? <laughs> what the fuck? what he said. You don't want to know. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. <laughs> if you guys know what he said, then comment below. Don't know what he said. Just say, I, I got what he said. Oh. Is that about half? Stockpile a bunch of Bill Cosby kids in given life. Whatever you do, don't take any drinks and pay off me. <laughs> Wasn't planning on it. Ew, stop. That's fun. <laughs> Close your mouth when you're fighting. After she stirring stirring stick, that's after she stirring stick. That's what it says. That's all it said. Why do you know these things? You learn a lot with age. That's what I'm saying. Here today, my good fellow. 
I wish to gain entry into this. The punch and scent coming from the smoke of green herbs is so strong that Richard Longslong begins to cough violently from secondhand smoke inhalation. My head is all fuzzy. What is that stuff? Ah, you mean the finest herb in all the land, do you? Gandank Grey Smoke's very own homegrown bomb-ass weed. Would you care to partake, my good fellow? Yeah, actually, I, I could use the smoke after getting fucked over again and again today. Gandank Dank Grey Smoke passes the pipe to Richard Longslong. Lights it for him. Richard inhales deeply and exhales a cloud of smoke so thick that it's hard to see his surroundings. Wow, this stuff is really good. I know, right? Pops on the pipe once more. Like, really good. I'm glad you approve. I'm so jealous right now. Takes another hit from the pipe with a smile on his face. Ah, save some for me. They used to puff on the pipe. So what brings you here anyways? Oh, I'm just visiting my girlfriend. She said she'd meet me at this cabin. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like my pipe back. I don't want to keep her waiting. She can be a real witch. Yeah, sure, just let me finish up here. Let's rip off the pipe. It's called Puff Puff Pass, my good fellow. It's called I've had a rough day, so wait your fucking turn, my good fellow. Richard takes yet another hit. Oh Jesus. I've had enough, you smoked all my herb! And on top of it all, you're quite rude. I shall now destroy thee with magic and cold relentless steel. Well, that sucks. Whoa, what's this big deal? Like, what the fuck did I do wrong? You shall not pass! Yeah, if you wouldn't pass. Those who smoke this my herb from my pipe with blatant disregard, by the golden rule, shall never see the light of day again. This guy takes you smoke really seriously. Tell me about it. I still have all the time, right? Jesus, man, I just wanted to relax and have a good time. Look at where I got you, Richard. Oy, oy, oy. This guy throws a good punch. That's a good ass hit. Get it? It's a good hit? Haha! <laughs> Funny! My weed and injured my flesh. Thou shall never be my game man. He has no idea why we're on a journey to kill his girlfriend either. I mean, he really pissed off and do that one. What? My love? How dare you? Or voraciously consumes a magical mushroom and begins glowing with his newfound victory. Good going, dumbass. Puts the mushroom juice into Richard's eyes. This is begins to lose her. Oh no. Where the fuck are we? Cabin in the forest, the same place you've been for the last 10 minutes. But it looks like a hell of a lot different from my perspective. Holy shit. Speed crack. That's not good. Damn defense.
not beat me neither. Oh, that one's gonna get himself in the neck. What the fuck? You have no power here. Well, you're fucked. Yeah, fair call, fam. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Just because I took him down so fast? Is that why he's turned into a monster? Because holy shit! I don't know how I'm gonna beat this! Okay. You will pay for our insurance. Also for all that we just took earlier. Okay, okay, okay. Don't panic. and smoke you. How about something you actually smoke? You can't smoke. Bitch! We are blessed. Bitch, I'll show you a dick. Oh, that's a dick. You want someone to call Child Protection Services and have your name put it on the list? Because that right there is how you end up with your name on the list. Oh, calm the fuck down. I didn't mean it that way. You probably did, you little fuck. I swear, one more outburst with you, and I'll turn this story around. Sorry, Grandpa.
biggest struggle. But it looks like my plan is when Dan Dank the Green puts on three separate pairs of sunglasses to cover his many eyes and causes the dramatic effect. I love that I gained 420 experience from that, and we just didn't talk about that. I got some ramen speed, a golden pipe, and a big floppy eggplant. Can't believe you killed an old guy and stole his weed. I can't believe that half the shits that happened here today, but here we are. Fair call, fam. Okay. Yeah, let's save, let's save the game. Alright, let's give this door away. Shadows on the last swing, but the door splinters into a million pieces. Why does every fucking axe around here break after three fucking swings? Seriously, every axe I've found has been rusty and worn beyond repair. Do people not take care of their tools? A bit of an odd rant to go on, but I'll allow it. Walking through this insecure doorway will make you feel better than you actually are. Would you like to enter the house anyways? Better what appears to be a hunter's cabin. The witch must have killed the hunter inside and taken residence in his one peaceful home. Once peaceful, once peaceful home! Or it could have the wrong house. What's that dumping noise? Hello? Is someone there? Who is that? I'm trapped down here! Please help me, that evil witch will be back soon! I'm on my way! Okay, I could go down there, but I kind of need to check who the fuck this is. I can't believe it. Vinny? How you doing, man? Can I help you? What are you doing here? Just grabbing the last stash of herbage in the forest before I go up to see my brother. I should really get going, but he's been waiting on me and I have been waiting for him. It's been way too long since the jam. It's gonna be great. Take care now. Be good, man. I will be. You probably shouldn't lie to me. I'm coming home, brother. You will be missed. Damn right. Hundreds of birds, parts. Hell yes. Set it down the ladder and was quickly met with the spell of rancid flesh and God knows what else. I feel like that's the witch. Thank goodness you're here. I've been trapped in the cellar for ages. Is your mother Rhiannon, the innkeeper? You know my mother? She sent me to rescue you. Come, let's make haste. Yeah, that's a good one. She's gonna show up right when I get to the Yep. Uh oh. It's her, the witch! Back, foul creature! Is that any way to treat it? Is that. It... Is that my wife? I fucking marry the witch? <laughs> That she or may or may not have stolen from an unsuspecting hunter. Oh dear. Back off, I'm warning you, witch! And just as I left, those threatening words slipped past my lips. I realized just how beautiful the creature that stood before me truly was. What? Her eyes were like diamonds. Her skin like fine leather. What? Her hair smooth as silk. You can't be fucking serious right now. Are we looking at the same person? It was then that I knew what I must do. I had to marry that I just want to go home. No! No, 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 no! Just fucking no! I'm sorry, but this is where I draw the line. I did not go through this much hell to finally rescue this hot blonde girl just to end up marrying an old hag. Absolutely not! I won't fucking do what I refuse!
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Oh no. I'm coming for God! To witness the union of which Richard and Tracy in holy matrimony. Ooh, Grandma and Grandpa are getting married! Ooh, yeah, I'm so excited! Go, Grandpa, go! Which is an honorable estate that is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and soberly. I wish I wasn't sober for this. Into this estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. Is there no God? If anyone can show just cause why they are not lawfully joined together, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Uh, me? I object this has to be illegal. He doesn't object, he's just kidding. I'm not kidding! I'm 100% serious, I don't want to do this! His objecting doesn't count. On what grounds? Um... On the grounds that I am him, except I have seniority because I've been here out long. <laughs> Fair enough, let us continue. This is so not okay! May you never sight your vows. Richard, I know we've only known each other for 10 minutes. But this has been the happiest ten minutes of my life. You may not love me yet, but one day I promise that you'll at least be able to tolerate me enough to let me cook, kidnap children, and just do for you. Wait, are the two kids just kidnapped? Is anyone else hearing this shit? That was beautiful. Richard, do you have anything to share today? Old Hag, I know that you think you love me, but you truly don't know me well enough to make such a rash decision as this. Please, if there is even a shred of decency and goodness in your heart, you'll let me go and be happy with someone else. Preferably the innkeeper's daughter. Well, I suppose it's a good thing that I don't have a shred of decency or goodness in my heart. Sorry, Dick, you're stuck with me. <sighs> this is normally where I, we say I do an exchange ring, but it looks like you already have a wedding ring, Richard. I told you I had a wedding ring this whole time. What the fuck? When did I get this? No way, about it here. All right, I've got a horse race to get to. Big money on Sea Cookie to win the whole derby. So let's wrap things up. Hammer and hammer, shama lama and ding dong. Open sesame seed bud. You're married. Peace, somebody. Where the fuck are these guys transporting me? Well, I guess this is my life now. Congratulations, Grandpa and Grandma. How long have you two been married, Grandpa? This grandma look, just looks like she used to. Oh, about six months, kids. Oh. Six months? You you look like you're 75 years old. That's what happens when you get married, Richard. All the life you had just kind of gets sucked right out. Like a really bad blowjob with your partner using nothing but teeth. Delightful. Tell us that awesome story, Grandpa. Yeah, thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry, kids. If you like that story, there's plenty more where that came from. Shoes ready. <sighs> yep, kids. Literally. Thanks, Grandma. Hey, I was wondering. Whatever happened to the innkeeper's daughter? Um... Hello, is anyone there? What was that noise, Grandpa? Can anyone help me? Is someone trapped under our floorboards, Grandma? Oh, don't you worry about that. Just eat your stew and shut the fuck up, dear. Okay, Grandma! Tune in next week for another... Inducing tale. What, where stuff will happen. People will talk. Innocent creatures will die. But most importantly, laughs will be had. See you next time on The Chronicles of Quiver, Jerk. Thank you guys for playing. Uh, watching, sorry. <laughs> I enjoyed this a lot. Uh, he's a really good uh, creator. And I will definitely leave a review for him. And maybe I'll play another one of his games if you guys have a suggestion for one to play. 
let me know in the description. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. Let me know what you thought of all the characters, what you thought of the end. And, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, this was fun. Uh, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And if you missed the last one, go go get it. You probably should have already watched the back of that, though. So I will see you guys later. Bye!